to continue this celebration of life and of our beautiful land. I invite Vance Gardner to come and give us his usual powerful, clear, inspiring talk. Let me unmask and let me unmask reality this morning for everyone, so to speak. We must give up the silly idea of folding our hands and waiting on God to do everything for us. If God had intended for that, then he would not have given us a mind. Whatever you want in life, you must make up your mind to do it for yourself. So said the Honorable Marcus Mosiah Garvey. And Ernest Holmes tells us that nothing can be more apparent than that man, as he now appears, is the result of growth and unfoldment. But in order to unfold, he had to have something from which to unfold. And since he's intelligent, he must have unfolded from an intelligent cause. Man is created with attributes of self-choice and free will. But he must be left alone to make the great discovery for himself. Good morning, Temple of Light. And welcome everyone in the sanctuary and those joining us online and those joining us in consciousness. Today's service is a celebration of Jamaican Independence Day, which took place on August 6, 1962, and is now celebrated on August 6 every year. This was the day we claim political independence with all the possibilities and responsibilities associated with being a politically independent nation state. True independence, however, requires a people emancipated from mental slavery with a collective consciousness of self-reliance and an individual consciousness of inner dependence. Authentic liberation requires us to challenge our beliefs, values, attitudes, and the words we use to express ourselves. We must go beyond our comfort zones and look at the beliefs behind the words to understand why and what we are creating in our lives and how to change it. From this consciousness, we can sing our own songs. Holmes tells us that we have to make the great discovery for ourselves of the individualized expression of the divine unfolding as you and me for ourselves. But where do we make this discovery? Is it from schools, churches, friends, family, or any external influence? No, my friends, this discovery can only be made by going within. Just as our coaches can help an athlete, we have to learn our discipline and run our own races for ourselves. How then can we sing our own songs? First, we must believe in ourselves. Marcus Garvey tells us that I trust that you will so live today as to realize that you are masters of your own destiny, masters of your fate. If there's anything you want in this world, it is all for you to strike out with confidence and faith in self and reach for it. We must start with confidence in ourselves. Secondly, we must learn to trust our intuition, not our egos. 
again, Garvey tells us that the ends you serve that are selfish will take you no further than yourselves, but the ends you serve that are for all in common will take you into eternity. So meditate, not imitate. And that is the guiding principle. Although we can all learn from best practices, it is best to be discerning and adapt, not adopt or copy them uncritically to please others. To sing our own songs, we have to spend time in solitude, going within, as Emerson recommends in his essay, Self-Reliance, to express from our authentic selves rather than trying to get recognition from others. Allowing what is to be expressed rather than trying to allow external influence to determine your expression. Also recognize the difference between being impulsive, which is merely lack of self-mastery, and to use that as your excuse. Some people use that as their excuse to say that they are being themselves when they are just being merely impulsive. And that really demonstrates that you don't know yourself. Mindless, insensitive, irresponsible actions and activity are never genuinely authentic. Actions and activities. Intuition in us is the voice of God. Therefore, it cannot be divisive, hurtful, and inconsiderate. Because God is one and cannot be divided against itself. Self-reliance, or what we in science of mind call interdependence, requires us, as Emerson put it, to get our bloated nothingness out of the path of the divine circuits. Friends, we are all a part of God, expressions of the divine, and this acceptance and acknowledgement is the basis of true independence. Self-reliance, self-mastery, interdependence, or authentic liberation, or whatever we call self-knowingness. To sing our own songs requires diligence. To know oneself requires the consistent practice of meditation and reflection. The voice of God, although heard in the silence, is always speaking to us, but by only becoming present to it through meditation and other mindfulness practices, do we learn how to listen and follow it. Socrates grasps this truth that the unexamined life is not worth living. The proper appreciation of, uh, the, sorry, the proper appreciation of our life examines the role of cause and effect in determining how our lives manifest our experiences. We can then through thanksgiving and healing, hear the songs in our hearts and sing them. Beloved Marcus Garvey played a beloved Marcus Garvey played a major role in raising the consciousness of people, particularly of African descent, to our own innate right to make our choices for ourselves from a place of confidence, pride, and self-knowingness. This is a reason why he was among the three first people who were acknowledged as national heroes of the Jamaican people, and why the Black Star is in the Guyanian national flag and was dedicated to him by Kwame Nkrumah. And out of this consciousness, came our song, a national anthem. Not a aim to any flag, monarch, or deity, but a prayer. An affirmative prayer of light. Be our light.
through countless hours. To our leaders, great defender, grant true wisdom from above. Give us vision, lest we perish. Knowledge send us, heavenly Father, grant true wisdom from above. It is a, also a Jamaican prayer of peace and love. Within the Jamaica collective consciousness, there was always this knowledge that interdependence is true independence as shown in our anthem. Garvey's own life was a testament to the power of self-knowledge, self-confidence, and original thinking. Even before Walter Rodney's How Europe Underdeveloped Africa and Chancellor Williams' The Destruction of Black Civilizations, the books which opened my own eyes to the achievement of Africans, which was not taught in school, at least not while I was growing up, Garvey was teaching about the achievements of Africans and the capacity of all people, regardless of race, to govern themselves and do magnificent things. Professor Lloyd Bess, a leading intellectual in the New World Group, which was very influential in the development of original thinking in the Caribbean region, stated in Thought and Freedom that we are all part of God and therefore perfectly capable of overcoming our challenges by thinking for ourselves and trusting our original thought. Our original thought is effective when coming from that consciousness of being divine and in alignment with divine principles. It takes a great deal of confidence to trust that inner voice and stick to your original thought and vision when everyone and events are telling you otherwise. At five feet and probably a little more, a little more than five feet, weighing just about 50 kilograms or thereabout, young Megan Simmons wrote in her yearbook at St. Andrews High School for Girls in St. Andrew, Jamaica, that she would win an Olympic medal in the 100 meter hurdles. Now, in 2010, when she wrote that no Jamaican female had won any medals in that event at the Olympics, skeptics told her that as the hurdles got higher and she began running as a senior, she would struggle because she's vertically challenged and small, <laughs> but she held her confidence. And even when she won titles at the Carifta level, many believe she would struggle at a higher level. Apart from her height and size, Megan faced a far greater challenge in the competition for places on the Jamaican team. She had to compete against a former world champion, two former world junior champions and world record holders at the junior level, and former champion at the collegiate level in the United States. But she believed in herself and her inner voice. And today, Megan Tapper is the bronze medal winner from the Tokyo Olympic Games. David Archuleta said that there's a purpose and it has been within you all along. And when you are near it, you can almost hear it. It's like a symphony. Just keep listening and pretty soon you will start to figure out your part. Everyone plays a piece and there are melodies in each one of us, and oh, it is glorious. And you will know to let it ring out as you discover who you are, and others around you will start waking up to the sounds that are in their hearts. We can sing our own songs, 
but our best songs are not ego-centered, but from the consciousness of what Jamaicans say is the I and high. I and the most high are one. It is so amazing what we are creating. So your assignment for this week is to create something original from within. Any original piece of, write a song like Sandy Cooper <laughs> or painting. Just do your original expression from within. Yes, my friends, it is truly amazing what we are creating. So in closing, I am leaving you with a song written by practitioners Sandra Cooper, as stated earlier, and the music by Steve Golden and produced by Mighty Bennett, and with the vocal arrangements by Sharita Lewis, and also Kurik played a part in this arrangement. Vibrant harmony and the rhythm it is sending of new glories yet to be. Hallelujah, hallelujah, shades of dark and sorrow flee as our consciousness awakens to the truth that sets us free. Our green islands, vibrant flowers, all their beauty here to see. Like the truth I know empowers me to be all I can be. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, in my heart there is a song. Hallelujah, hallelujah, as I walk each day along. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hear God's vibrant harmony. And the rhythm it is sending of new glories yet to be. When we all come together and sing this song, the spirit of love, I guide we along, make a choice. Joy and loving kindness are our gifts for all to see. Lift our voices high in gladness for our temple standing free. Hallelujah, hallelujah, in our hearts there is a song. Hallelujah, hallelujah, as I walk each day along. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hear God's vibrant harmony and the rhythm it is sending of new glories. Yet to be. Hallelujah, hallelujah, in our hearts there is a song. Hallelujah, hallelujah, as I walk each day along. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hear God's vibrant harmony and the rhythm it is sending of new glories yet to be. And the rhythm it is sending of new glories yet to be. Namaste.